Where are you today? What's going on? Do you sometimes wonder if, if you're on the right track? If you're really in the place that God wants you? That you've really heard His voice? Do you, do you ever question that maybe you've gotten off track or that maybe you've been distracted? Does that trouble you? Sometimes the enemy comes and he nags us with the suggestion that we're not where God wants us to be. May I come to you today with the words of Scripture and encourage you? You're at the right place, and today is the right time. God knows exactly where you are, exactly what your circumstances are, and He is right there with you to cause your today, this moment, in the place that you are, to be productive for Him, for His plan through your life. From the book of Esther, there is a one verse that just is a profound encouragement along this line. You know the story. She had been taken into Persian captivity, and there was a, a plan at work to destroy the Jewish people that had likewise been taken into captivity. But God, through circumstances and through the obedience of Esther, uh, was able to reverse that scheme of, of destruction and turn it into a great victory of preservation for the, for the children of Israel who were in captivity. So let me, let me just remind you, Esther, she was a captive. She was a female, so she couldn't make decisions really on her own. She had, had been uh, married to the king. She couldn't choose whether or not to say yes. He saw her. He loved her. He married her. And so, well, I don't know if he loved her. Maybe in that day, love wasn't the primary thing. But at least she found favor in his eyes. God used those circumstances to get her in the right place. But it, looking on from the outside, it wouldn't seem that her circumstance was very pleasant. You wouldn't really say that Esther laid awake at night saying, oh, I'm glad I'm just in the right place that God wants me. He's going to use me to do something special for him. I don't think that's what she was thinking. But through the events that began to unfold, listen to what Mordecai, her uncle, said to her at the time of real crisis for her people. He said, if you remain silent at this time, Relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. Mordecai knew that God is a deliverer. He was not going to allow the people to be destroyed. But, he said to Esther, you and your father's house will perish. Yet who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. What a great piercing statement that Mordecai spoke to her. And then, of course, Esther made the decision to speak up when she did so at the risk of her life. She says, if I perish, I perish. But we today make the same decision. Every day we make a choice to speak up for the things of God, for the things of truth, to declare his provisions through Christ for people today. So I want to suggest to you that wherever you are, even if you feel that your circumstance is not very pleasant, take heart from this promise today, this statement. This is God's declaration to you, to reassure you, to keep you right on track, to give you boldness for your day. You are at the right place at the right time. You have come to the kingdom of God for such a time as this. Live your destiny today to the fullest.